Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we will talk about the Kruskal Wallis test and how it is done on Minitab. Kruskal Wallis test helps us to determine whether the medians of two or more groups differ. It is a non parametric alternative to one way ANOVA and it permits the use of unequal sample sizes. This test uses the rank of the data values instead of the actual data values. Underlying assumptions for this test are independence of observations, normally distributed data, and distributions with same shape or variability. Null hypothesis for the test is eta1 equals eta2 and it goes up to eta k, where eta is a population median and k is the number of groups. Alternative hypothesis is that at least one of the groups have a different median value. Test statistic for kruskal wallis test is denoted by H and is calculated using this formula, where K is number of groups and I is sample sizes for each of the groups, RI is the sum of the ranks for group I, N is the total number of all observations across K groups. It is very important to note here that if null hypothesis is true, this statistic approaches a chi-square distribution with k-1 degrees of freedom, provided each of the ni is at least 5, that is sample sizes for each of the groups is 5. Please do not worry about the chi-square distribution at this point, because in our future videos we will talk about chi-square distribution in details. Rejection criteria for a kruskal wallis test is if test statistic is greater than critical value at significance level alpha and k-1 degrees of freedom, we reject null hypothesis. Here are the steps to be followed for a kruskal wallis test. However, since we are familiar with the steps for hypothesis testing from our past videos, we will not discuss them again. At this point, let me quickly share an example where we can use the kruskal wallis test. Say for example, we wish to compare customer satisfaction among three types of customers. We can very well go for a kruskal wallis test to derive meaningful inferences. Let's move ahead to see how is the test done on Minitab. We click on STAT non-parametric kruskal wallis then we fill the response and factor variables from the left pane and here is the sample Minitab output. Our primary focus here is on the p-value. If p-value is less than alpha, the significance level, we reject null hypothesis. This means that at least one of the groups have a different median value. With this we conclude our discussion on kruskal wallis test today. Thank you very much for your time and please do get in touch with me for any queries or feedback. You can also subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos. Stay tuned for more interesting videos to come. Till then, enjoy learning. Bye-bye.